My message today at this, uh, with this audience was that the reason for a lot of anti-Semitism is just flat-out ignorance. A lot of black people are unaware of the close relationship Jews have had with the civil rights movement. They're unaware, for example, that Jack uh, Greenberg was uh, helped uh, Thurgood Marshall uh, come up with a strategy to win uh, Brown versus Board of Education. A lot of black people are completely unaware that three-quarters of the white kids that went down south as freedom fighters were Jewish. A lot of black people are unaware that Jews helped to found the NAACP. Jews helped to, uh, to build the, Tus the Tuskegee Institute and work uh, closely with Booker T. Washington. Uh, Jews are probably the only ethnic group in the country that as they get more and more affluent retain their allegiance to the Democratic Party. Most people when they get more and more affluent uh, vote for the party that's going to lower their taxes. Jews don't do that. Uh, yet there is this feeling that um, the Jews are uh, dominating black people, that have exploited black people, they've gotten wealthy as, as a result of exploiting black people, and it's nonsense. Um, <clears throat> you hear some of the uh, major leaders in this country were black, Sharpton, Farrakhan, uh, uh, Jesse Jackson, all of whom have said hideous anti-Semitic things. Um, and uh, a lot of black people, unfortunately, have listened to them. Now, most blacks are not anti-Semitic. About a third of blacks are, which is much higher than the general uh, Gentile population. So it's a real problem. Uh, so my message here was just information about how Israel was formed. Uh, Israel did not come out of the ground in, in one fell swoop. There was a long connection with that land, a long back to Israel movement. Uh, the area was partitioned into two states, uh, Israel and Palestine in 1947. Five countries, Arab countries, invaded Israel within hours when the British troops pulled out in 1948. That's why we have this problem. And the reason there's no peace in the Middle East is because one part of this peace process, the Palestinians don't really want peace. If you ask them what they want, they'll say, we want the original Palestine back. And then ask them what that is. And they'll tell you it's the Jordan River to the Mediterranean Sea, which no room for Israel in the middle of it. And so my lecture today was simply about information and about how uh, ill-informed a lot of people are, especially black people are, about the Jewish experience and their close relationship with, with blacks in this country.